such a time as this. Welcome back to For Such a Time as This, the place where there is no such thing as a silent witness. And we are not going to be silent on the issue of the false doctrine perpetrated by those who are pushing critical race theory in the Church of Jesus Christ. Look, another way to look at this, this critical race theory, these people who claim to be Christians, who um, talk about white privilege. <sighs> look at it from this angle. The ministry, the true church of Jesus Christ, while we fight and love here our ultimate destination, our ultimate kingdom that we fight for, is not of this world. If you have someone who claims to be a Christian who is fighting for a utopia now on this earth, trying to remove the sins from the culture, that's a red flag. False, false gospel, false minister. Our job is to witness for Christ because only he can redeem this world, only he can remove sin. And so here we have Mr. Tim Keller, on a video that's going somewhat viral. But before we get to that, uh, to bag up what I am saying, that as a believer in Jesus Christ, your kingdom that you fight for is the kingdom to come, not the kingdom now. We speak truth into this dark and dying world, but we do not fight for this kingdom, Jesus, when he was on the earth and Pilate stood before Jesus. Jesus didn't stand before Pilate. Pilate stood before Jesus. Pilate says this, am I a Jew? Your own nation and the chief priests have delivered you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, my kingdom is not of this world. My kingdom, Jesus says, is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would have been fighting that I might not be delivered over to the Jews. But my kingdom, he says again, my kingdom is not of, not from, I'm sorry, my kingdom is not from, not from this world. His disciples, his servants, we are not fighting for this world because we understand this world is doomed. This world is done. The Lord, when he comes back, he will set up his millennial rule, his millennial kingdom. And then after that, after a second revolt, what will the Lord do to this world? Destroy it and have a new heaven and a new earth. But now, true believers on this earth, do we fight to make a utopia now? No. No, 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 no. We point you to the one who will do it. Mr. Tim Keller. Boy, I don't understand how anybody who has white skin, my brothers and sisters, of the white community who are in Christ. How is it that you, not all, but some people of the white community keeps being duped by Tim Keller when it is clear he thinks people with white skin 
Uh, let me play it. Let, let, let me just play the tape. Here you go. Here you go. A friend of mine recently, was, uh, who's a pastor, was talking to a Norwegian uh, man who had just moved into his to his community and went to his church. And at one point, he heard uh, the pastor talking about the fact that um, uh, we were we are all complicit in creating this narrative that uh, uh, black people are dangerous, etc. And so we're complicit in this. Afterwards, the white the, the, the Norwegian came up and said, "No, no, no. That's I'm, I'm Norwegian." <laughs> no, it had nothing to do with it. And, and, my, uh, and my pastor friend said, uh, studies have shown, have pretty much proven, that if you have white skin, it's worth a million dollars over a lifetime over somebody who doesn't have white skin. And that's because of historical forces that uh, have come about. And that at this point, you know, you could, you could go at it several ways. One, as I mentioned, if you have that asset of white skin right now, historical asset, then you actually have to say, I, I didn't deserve this. And also, I'm to some degree, I'm the product of, uh, I'm standing on the shoulders of other people who got that through injustice. So uh, the Bible actually says, yes, you do, you do, you are um, involved in injustice. And even if you didn't actually do it, therefore you have a responsibility, not just to say, well, you know, maybe if I get around to it, maybe we could do something about the poor people out there. No, you're, you're part of the problem. If you do actually let your, your understanding of responsibility be shaped by the Bible instead of American individualism. Um, a Even if you did not perpetrate it, you're standing on the shoulders of those who got that through injustice. If you are white, your defense that you did not own slaves and you did not participate in Jim Crow, if you say, I, I, I had nothing to do with that, you are standing on the shoulders of those who got that through injustice. Particularly wealthy, he's talked about this. So, 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 what if you didn't do it? You are where you are because you you are standing on the shoulders of those who got that through injustice. So, if you are white, I, I don't care if you were involved in the railroad. I don't care if your ancestors were part of the abolitionist movement. It, it, blanket statement, you are standing on the shoulders of those who got what they got through injustice. White people did not work hard and honest. All of you all, you are the product of those who exploited other people. I don't care if you're from Ireland, if, if you're the Irish, the Scottish, the German, you have white skin. Because remember, he, he's even applying this in the context to someone who is from Sweden. So the mere fact that you have white skin, guilty. And the Bible says you are involved in injustice. Did you notice something else? I, I never got a book, verse, or a chapter. N never got it. He, he make these proclamations that the Bible says this, and you are to believe it because he is Tim Keller. Tim Keller doesn't have to give you where in the Bible he's getting it from because he's Tim Keller. All he has to do is say the Bible says so, and guess what? If you disagree with him, you are a part of the problem. You're part of the problem if you disagree with him. And and, and what and, and and what is the reason behind your false notion and your 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 stupidity and ignorance? Because your understanding of responsibility is shaped by the is shaped by American individualism, not the Bible. So once again, the Bible. If you knew your Bible well enough and you weren't influenced by the American individualism, you would agree with him. D did you just tell us where you get it from, Tim? Tell us where you get it from. Because we know where you get that uh, understanding shaped by American individualism, individualism, 
and not groupism, individualism. That's from Mr. Marx. You got that from Karl Marx. But look, man, I, I just, Tim, Tim Keller is not somebody <sighs> I, I, why, why people are still listening to Tim Keller, and before you say anything, I tried to find a fuller version of the video. I saw several places where the video was, was posted, and the most I can get was what I showed you. Um, I can't find the full video, video, but I know Tim Keller well enough to know that that video was in context. That's what he believes. That's what he's been pushing for the last several years. And for the life of me, why are people still listening to Tim Keller as though he knows the Bible and preaches God's word is a mystery to me. Mystery to me. Mystery to... Oh, my. Such a time as this, 